In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the tap on your DeLonghi Super Automatic Espresso Maker. We'll get started by removing the drip tray and the water tank from our espresso maker. But before you do anything, make sure that you have the machine unplugged. To remove the drip tray, just simply open the door and pull the tray out. Now we're looking at the back of the espresso maker, and the next step is to remove the sides. I'll remove the two screws that hold each side in place. And then pull the side slightly back and rotate the bottom out. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we'll remove the back from the machine. It's held in place with two screws. Next, we'll remove this knob from the front of the machine. I'll use a couple of screwdrivers to carefully pry it away. Next, we're going to remove this front console. There's four screws that secure it to your machine. Two on this side and two in the same location on the other side. I'll remove those screws. And now I can just pull the console away from the machine. The last bit of disassembly we need to do is to remove the top. We'll go to the back of the machine again, and the top is secured with a couple of screws. And now I can lift the top away from the machine. Now we have access to the tap and we can begin removing it. First I'm going to pull these wires away from the housing. That'll give us a little more room to access the tube. Next, I'm going to remove this pin that secures the tube to the tap. Now I can pull the tube away from the tap. You'll notice at the base of the opening where the tube was, there's a red O-ring. I'm going to use a little pick to pull that out. Next, I'll remove the two wires from the switch. The tap is secured to the housing with three screws. I'll remove those screws, and then I can pull the tap away. Now we can begin installing our new tap. I'll place the tap back onto the espresso machine. And then re-secure it with those same three screws. Next, we'll reinstall the wires. Now we'll reinstall the tube back into the opening on the tap. Remember to reinstall the little O-ring that we pulled out of the old tap. We'll press the tube back into the opening on the tap. You may need to use a small screwdriver to push the brass fitting down in place. And we'll secure the tube with the pin. And now I'll just place the wires back into the housing. With our new part installed, now we can go ahead and begin closing up our espresso maker. I'll start with the top.
Now we'll reinstall the front console. Take your time and make sure you get all the tabs lined up and everything is secure in place before you install the screws. Now we'll reinstall the knob onto the console. You'll notice that there's some grooves on the inside of the knob. And there's also a tab on the stud. We'll line up the groove with the tab and slide it in place. Now we can install the back. We slide the tab at the top up into the machine first and then secure it with two screws. Now I'll reinstall the right side. Again, I insert the top first, then bring the bottom in. On the right side, I'll have to snap this piece in, and then slide the panel towards the front. Now I'll install the left side, Again, the tabs in at the top. Make sure you have all the wires clear. Slide the panel forward. And again, secure with two screws. And we'll finish up by reinstalling the water reservoir and the drip tray.